Bobby Chu here. I'm an artist. I work on movies, animation, I have my own Emmy winning TV show, run my own studio, art school, and a bunch of other things. What should I paint today? That's such a common question, so I asked you, the viewer, to give me three words I choose a person's prompts and make an illustration. The three words for this illustration are snow, pigeon, and glass. And if you want to participate in the next one, give me three words in the comments and I'll choose one within the first 24 hours of this video dropping and I'll make that my next prompt and make a video and illustration out of it. So here are the three words, snow, pigeon, and glass. So the first thing to do is to work out some thumbnails, right? And when I work out thumbnails, nowadays I like to pick a kind of like hard to use brush, right? Something that isn't super clean. That'll give me a little bit more texture. Three ideas right off the bat dealing with a pigeon dealing with its own reflection, its inner self almost, right? And so the other part is snow and I figured, well, it's snowing. The ground has snow on it, so I didn't really put it in. Now, what if we added a person? And I'm kind of thinking that the person is looking at themselves in the reflection of the glass, as well as the pigeons. So there's a bit more of a connection there. The person is looking into the glass thinking, oh, I hate how this looks on me or this part of me. And same with the pigeons and the reflection in the glass would visually indicate that. Now the last three, I'm really reaching for some ideas here. The first one, it's kind of like an astronaut kind of pigeon, perhaps in an apocalyptic kind of world. And then what if it was more like a glass sword instead of looking at a reflection? And then we have the body of the father laying on the ground, the little children pigeon behind mama pigeon and mama pigeons holding up this sacred glass sword uh, ready to defend herself among all of the creepy creatures in the woods and then lastly i don't know if anybody's seen the truman show but that was the idea of this one Okay, so six of these thumbnail ideas are based off of the idea of a reflection. And then three are kind of just left field. Let's see what else can come out of these three prompts. And then I was inspired by number three and four. So then I copied, pasted them. That way we have them on the side and started to expand on thumbnail three, keeping thumbnail four in mind. You could also notice that I opened up a secondary window of the illustration. That way I can see how my painting is going from far away, kind of like as a thumbnail. This was an absolute game changer, I can tell you. When I can't open up a secondary window, my paintings are not as good. The quality is noticeable. Okay, and then we're gonna bring in some color. Now for color, I'm not going to be using any kind of colorizing or something like that. I'm going to just be bringing in just some simple, very direct paint and slopping down some general colors that I want to use. Now I like to keep it a little bit more kind of fun and illustrative. So let's turn up my saturation for you know these colors. I want to use quite a saturated color scheme. And as well, you can notice these subtle hue changes in the colors that I'm putting down, especially in the blues, they get into more purples. These branches help to guide the attention towards the pigeons. And then this silhouette of the glass, that's gonna be important for me. I'm gonna make sure that I can come back to that silhouette and save it in channels. Now inspired by thumbnail four, I'm gonna make the reflections bigger this time. And then working out the silhouette, I'm gonna make the quote unquote beautiful birds, nice and curvy, nice smooth lines. Then I'm gonna make our quote unquote ugly bird have more ruffled up feathers, a little bit more disheveled. So hopefully just by the silhouette, you start to understand what's happening here. You could also see that the reflections of the beautiful birds are distorted, right? And perhaps that's how they see themselves. That's the idea. 
And then in the reflection of the ugly bird, we're gonna have this beautiful saturated color scheme, really nice and colorful in the reflection, yet not as colorful in real life. And then let's do the opposite for the birds in real life, the beautiful ones. Let's make them nice and saturated, nice and, nice and colorful. And then the quote unquote ugly bird is gonna remain desaturated for now. Let's add some other things on the ground like leaves and twigs and things like that. And we'll put a little bit of a reflection in the glass as well. My concern right now is just the communication of the idea. Will people get it right away? I'm not too sure. So I'm just gonna keep going and paint in some other stuff on the ground. I made a frame for the window and then I put some junk on the ground. Maybe a pop can here. I'm painting a little white accent on top of the beak just to help guide the eye a bit more and show the audience that this thing is really important. Just uh, heightening the contrast there. Streaks along the glass. So that slowly and slowly it'll be a bit more understandable that that is glass and it's the reflection. And of course these windows, a lot of them, they have screens on them. So let's add in a bit of that as well. You see all of the texture is really what I'm going for now. I took Jonathan Hardesty's course on schoolism.com understanding textures and the way that he breaks down textures is fantastic actually he breaks them down in all these different attributes only a certain amount so as long as you know that certain amount of attributes you're able to analyze textures way easier like one is the specularity how shiny is the thing another one is the silhouette of the thing just like how i made the silhouette of the ugly bird different than the silhouette of the beautiful birds as a direct kind of way of talking about the texture of the feathers, right? They are a bit more rough for the ugly bird and nice and smooth for the beautiful birds. And then one of the most important is age. Is this thing a new thing or is it an old thing, right? If it's old, how do we show the age of this thing? There's a bunch of other attributes, but I I'm trying to remember, I can't remember. Definitely recommend this course on schoolism.com. Learn all about textures, it's fantastic. The beautiful birds, I decided to make them a completely different color. That way, it's just a much more easy read. So the beautiful white birds, they look beautiful in real life, but then the distortions almost look like, they remind me of like a zombie, white walkers kind of thing from Game of Thrones or something. And then the ugly bird, its reflection is nice and beautiful and colorful, adding even more contrast. I find that when the beautiful birds had the same colors as the reflection of the ugly bird, it just became too confusing. This way, it's just way more straightforward. Let's blur the background a little bit. Okay, you just saw a version that I had that's blurred. I'm gonna use that version to create some depth in the painting. Let's add some snow. And then I want to change the atmosphere to enhance the story even more. Have it darker everywhere. And let's make this tree a bit bigger as well. It just kind of sits a bit nicer with having each tree a totally different thickness. Add in a bit of noise to finish it off and we're all done. Now if any of these things confused you or you'd like to learn more about just art in general, I highly recommend checking out schoolism.com. That's where I teach as well as over 50 other courses. And when you subscribe to Schoolism, you get access to all of them and you get access to weekly live webinars. Now before you check them out, 
remember to subscribe to this channel and then hit the notification button because I'm going to be making many more paintings and this way you can find your way back much easier. What should my next prompt be? Give me three words in the comments and I'll see you all next time.